the Sami. The people living a nomadic lifestyle up in the north of Norway, Sweden, Finland and Russia. Their lifestyle is based on herding reindeers and have therefore a need for tools suited for that purpose, such as their knives. Similar to the Majed in design, the larger Sami knives have many characteristics, such as the blade being made from laminated steel, as getting good metal in was difficult. The handle was traditionally made from wood and reindeer horns, things you will consider for our knife. And since the blade was meant for both rough and fine work, such as chopping and shaping wood, as well as marking reindeer by cutting parts of the ears, we had to take into account that the blade isn't too hard, or else it would be too brittle. The group has five members, all amateurs at forging. However, we have a guide with lots of experience overseeing, helping keeping us safe throughout the build. First part of the build is naturally the blade. We chose three materials we thought would work for a simple pattern, as this was our first attempt at forge welding. We decided to forge weld mainly for aesthetics and learning purposes. The bar was made up of nickel, C75 and 80 chrome V2 in this pattern. We cleaned the metal bars to prepare for the forge welding where it was first welded by a semi-6 member who has experience, as this was the safest option. We heated up the bar once to further clean it before starting the forge welding. After hammering it further and further, we were done with the bar. However, after letting it cool and cleaning the outside, we spotted a crack, which we had to break off, making our blade shorter than anticipated. Once fully formed however, we welded the tang to keep it strong and we went on to grind the blade down to clean it before the tempering. We then kneeled the blade in an oven and began on the handle. Fun fact, we forgot to record us grinding the blade to its final shape, so just imagine this is us for a few hours. Now that the blade is done, the handle comes next. We decided that we wanted to honor the traditional handle, yet add a little flair. So we found some dense and dark Japanese wood, which we used for a bolster, then a classic Norwegian wood called Valbjörk, for the main grip, and then we used reindeer horns for a pommel. We thought this was a nice way to add contracts at the same time as honoring the traditional handle. We drilled a hole through the individual pieces carefully so the bolster would have a nice fit and then we glued them together. It was now time to grind it down. We then oiled the wood, polished and etched our knife a final time and glued them together with epoxy. And this is the result. We would like to thank the Department of Materials and Science for their support and Eric for guiding us using his experience. This build would not be possible without them. <laughs>